Hey guys, so I am just getting over a hell week and I thought what better way than to express my sincere goodbye to the past week than tell you guys all about it and give you some tips and tricks on how to live the hell of two weeks with a cold sore. As you can see, part of my lip is more puffed up than the other and I'll explain to you what happened and how I got that but let's just get into it so last night which was Friday I get home from work and I'm pulling out of my boyfriend's driveway and I back up into an Audi so that was the start of my bad Friday then I deal with that person because obviously I scratched his car I'm not just gonna leave so I went to him and told him what happened and so we're dealing with that mess right now. On top of that, my boyfriend went to go play hockey and I got a phone call at 12.30 at night just as I'm about to crawl into my bed and go to sleep that he needs me to come take him to emergency because he got a, um, a stick to the lip and needs to go get stitches. So I spent two hours with him in Emerge to uh, get his like it was a cut right here and it ended up having to be glued back together. They didn't need stitches, thank God. But previous to Friday, I was sick all week. Um, I was going to bed at like six at night because I was so under the weather. And of course, a humongous cold sore pops up on my face. And I um, obviously have makeup on and lipstick and all that good stuff today because I'm uh, going out for the evening. And I was gonna show you guys how I managed to kind of conceal it I don't know you guys are probably like wow her lips look like they grew because I tried my best to um, outline and make them not look so gross so anyways those of you who have ever had to deal with a cold sore know the they are the absolute worst they are embarrassing they suck they are just awful they're no fun they hurt they sting you can't eat properly and they're ugly so I've been getting them for years. I've had awful ones and um, I thought let's tell you my couple tricks on how to deal with living through that for two weeks, two and a half weeks, depending on how long they stay for. So tip number one, go see a doctor as soon as you feel that tingling little sensation. It's imperative. Go see a doctor. There are prescriptions that they can give you to make this um, heal and speed up faster. Number two, if you can't get to a doctor or a walk-in clinic, get your ass to shoppers and get your Abriva, your, there are so many, tea tree oil, there's so much stuff that you can take. I am a fan this month with this one of tea tree oil and I use cold effects, um, cold sore remedy and it's clear it's like a clear cream and I really like it and it works really well Abriva is like supposed to be number one but I've used it so much that I don't think that it really works for me number three don't touch it for the love of God do not touch it because as soon as you touch it you may not notice but you go like that you touch it then you touch another part of your lip or you touch someone else or something and all of a sudden you've got a breakout under this is my final tip for you and it is my favorite. If you have something to go to an event or a party, this is what you want to try. These polysporin patches are a complete lifesaver. You can get them at Shoppers and they cost around $20. You get enough strips to last you. Now what you're going to want to do is when you take it out, you're going to want to cut it in half if the cold sore is smaller than the patch itself because it is big. And we just want to cover up what's on your lip because we're going to put lipstick over it and you're almost not going to notice that you actually have a cold sore. I promise. It's lucky for us women that we can actually do this and it just so happens that in fall, dark colors are in. Once you have the polysporin patch on, you can follow by lining your lips with a dark liner or something that your lipstick is going to match. Sometimes if your cold sore is really big and like mine, as you can see, it kind of is coming up onto my lip. I almost have to draw a little bit of a bigger lip, which is why I was making fun of myself in the beginning of the video because my lips looked funny. But it's the best way I can go and still feel confident going out in public with this sore on my face. So I'm taking this red lipstick that I later on decided to put uh, more of a pinky shade on top for when I was filming this video, but you can use anything. I fill in my lip and then that is the final step slash tip I can give you guys. It's really important and I stress this that 
don't get down on yourself. This happens to everyone and you'd be surprised. So many people are the unlucky ones who wake up after stress or a bad week or you're sick and one of these pop up on your face. It just happens. It's life. I also find what helps is that if you're feeling a little unconfident because of this, take a buttload of selfies. I'm telling you, put your lipstick on, make your lip look a little bigger, and just have fun and take some selfies like I did because it made my confidence go up and I felt ready to tackle this party. But those are my tips and that is my hell week and how you can get through it. And I will see you guys in my next video. So take care. Bye.